All right, we're going to show you a few things on beginner riding. So the first thing that's important is that your feet are positioned with your heels down and toes up. The second thing is you want to be sitting up. You don't need to be totally on a parade, but you also don't want to be sitting down like this all the time. You need to just be upright, comfortable with your heels down. The next thing is your hands need to be forward. The hand on the rein, if you are using two hands, these need to be forward, not back here. And you don't need to hang on to this saddle horn. If you are going to hang on to it, at least have just one hand on it and realize that it's not what's keeping you in the saddle. The thing that's keeping you in the saddle is having your heels down and sitting up. Okay. What happens if you have your feet up here is it's going to throw you forward the whole time you ride and it's also going to make your horse act a little bit confused and some of them will even buck or run off because you're hitting them right here in the flanks with your feet especially if you have spurs on i'm going to cut here real quick to a cliff where i'll show you what will happen if you ride with your heels up all right so what will happen if you have your heels down here is everything will be a lot smoother for you all right, so that's about how you'll want to ride at a walk. Just nice and calm, not hanging on for dear life. Your heels are down. And finally, you want to breathe. What happens with a lot of people whenever they try anything new is they tense up. They quit breathing, they become a lot more rigid, and it makes you hold the reins tighter like this. It makes you hold the saddle horn more. Just relax. You cannot force yourself to relax. But you can force yourself to breathe and breathing will make you relax so just a little bit of breathing technique if your horse is not going as fast as you think he is it's okay stopping is the same thing you just sit down no stop you don't need to be fast jerky with the reins you can just relax and your horse will feel you out and you'll build a trust and you'll build communication.